Alright, what's up guys, Azura here, and today I have for you a deck profile for Seekers. So, Seekers got a... They got like, honestly, they got like one card. <laughs> they honestly only got like one card. One card and some like off archetype support, but... Actually, they, they got, never mind, they got two cards. They got two cards that's some off, off archetype support, so... Uh, uh, regardless, so without further ado, let's get on to the deck list and see how the deck changed, so bam. Uh, again, it's like I said, two cards. Alfred, the Proud Line, and then awesome Arc, 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 Arc Tech Support Buck over it anyways. Uh, although this deck got really little support, I do think that support is very, very influential to how the deck wants to, or how the deck plays now. So uh, first off, starter is still File. Uh, on Legion, you put in the Soul, the card, a Blast with Seeker from your deck, and it has Resist. So, called an Intercept, has a booster with Resist. Which is just nice. Now, uh, grade ones. Leon, uh, still probably the best way to help you fill, fill up drop for Legion and help you dig for cards you actually want. Uh, tap self to draw drop. Uh, pretty standard, pretty standard stuff, pretty good. Still really good card. Uh, PG, uh, we are playing the Seeker PG. Uh, it, honestly, again, PGs don't matter too much. I just don't like old PGs very much, so I don't want to play old PGs. Uh, they do have a the dual net PG and this thing, which is the same thing, but. Because this card is a Seeker name in specific, uh, you could run into very fringe case scenarios where uh, you have a Gildas and all you need was just call a booster, but you were out of Gringles. Because uh, I, I am only playing two Gringles, uh, you can use the Gildas to call a PG in an emergency scenario. So I do think the slight optimization here does make a difference. And speaking of Gringle, we're only playing two of it now. Its skill is uh, when attack that boosts a Blaster Blade Seeker, hits a Vanguard, you can put a card from your hand back to the bottom of your deck to draw a card and counter charge one. So, the reason, there's a few reasons why I cut this card down to two. One, it is searchable by the Gilda, so I feel, just don't feel obligated to play multiples of it. it obviously, they can die, but uh, it is searchable, so it's not the worst thing. And you can just always leave the Legion in the back and search them back out, so yeah, there's that. Uh, 6k base really sucks, but that's not the issue here because I swapped them up for 5k bases, so that's even worse, but 6k base sucks. And then, uh, the fact that you're forced to filter or to cycle to counter charge is really just really not good because sometimes your hand is just good but you want the counter charge so you just put something back and draw something worse. Uh, so that, that's really bad. And we also have a new counter charger now and we have an extra, a different counter charger now so you're less reliant on the green goal and I just wanted to make space for this card. Uh, so speaking of, the, this next card, this new card is, I don't know his name, but he is a generic Soul to draw card. So. This card is very, very good for this deck. Uh, more, specific, more specifically, because I'm not playing Thing Saver, obviously, as you can see, I'm not playing Thing Saver. Uh, you actually don't need to hold Soul for it, so you can just launch these off to Soul Blast out your Legion mates, Soul Blast out extra triggers to make Legioning even easier in this deck. This deck just doesn't want to Legion over and over again, especially with the Wingles. A little less on Alfred, but uh, this card is just nice for emptying a Soul to draw a card, so yeah, very good card. There is a Seeker version of this card, that's 7k, but that card has a very harsh condition of uh, only working if your front row has three or more Seeker cards. Uh, I think that condition is god-awful and trash and terrible, so that's why I don't choose to play something that is on name. Uh, the fact that it, it is on name makes it worth considering over this card or some split ratios between these cards, but I just I would, I just opt to play three of these instead because I think this card is just more versatile and better overall. Uh, so you basically trade uh, easier to use and just easier to use for uh, being searchable and scaling better. But yeah, uh, I think the 5k is a little better. If you like the Octavius, the card that's 7k in the secret name, and does this with a harsh condition, you can try that. Uh, if you, or you can just play like two of these, one of that, but I personally just like three of these. Okay, that's it for grade ones. Grade twos, uh, good old Blaster Blade. Uh, Vanguard Rear on play, CV2 to attack grade to a lower rear guard. Being a Vanguard skill actually does matter because the Alfred XC does Legion with Blaster Blade, meaning when you do Legion, you can use this Blaster Blade skill because it was placed on Vanguard Circle. So that is just something to note, something that Blaster Blade Seeker cannot do because he is a rear guard only skill, but his skill is on play if you're Vanguard the Seeker, your CV2 to retire anything. So uh, trade off there, uh, a trade off when you ride, when you Legion with XC. Uh, you, you, if you Legion with OG Blaster Blade, you can do this Vanguard skill. But if you Legion with Blaster Blade Seeker, when you boost it by a Grin Goal, you can counter charge. So uh, there is a there is a actual thing, a little thought process of which one you want to Legion sometimes. But um, just 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 it is a good thing that uh, you have an extra, you have choices in what you can Legion with the XC. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, and then the not 
And then the not Blaster Blades in this deck are Gildas. So his, his skills on when you Legion Seed, when you call any secret from your deck, it's still a very good card. It still just is a CV1 to plus one. Uh, you can call extra great twos for later. You can call Gringles to boost. So you can call, yeah, you can call it Intercessor later. Uh, Gringles to boost is nice. And finally, the newest grade two of the deck is the Proud Lion. So his skill is on hit on hit to Vanguard Circle. If your Vanguard is a secret, you can counter charge one and give any card plus 2k. So uh, this card is nice because this card can turn your columns that weren't scaling to make them scale. Because when your when your card that boosts when you're in another boost with anything but Leon, you're making what uh, everything is 9k. So 9 plus 5 is 14. 9 plus 6 is 15. Uh, this can make this 16 exact, so that hits over non-trigger defensives, and that hits them over non-trigger defensives now. So, pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna try space for more, but the other cards are just a little more important to me. But yeah, that's it for grade twos. And on to grade threes. First off, we got good old man on horse, the Gansalot himself. Uh, whatever you call him, yeah, Gansalot, Gans Gans Revolution. I think he's dumb as fuck, but uh, a lot, I know a lot of people are calling it that. Uh, man on horse. That's why I, my preferred name for him, but. Good old Gansalot. Vanguard skill. Actually, it does come up sometimes. Very rarely does it do, does it come up, but it does come up. If you have a Blaster Blade in your soul, you can see me too to give this card 5k and a crit. Uh, and the reason you actually play this card, uh, hand, put it back from your hand to deck, grab the Blaster Blade from your deck. So, Recycling Heal. Very good. Uh, because this card does exist in your deck, uh, OG Blaster Blade is your preferred grade 2 ride just because if you ever need to ride Gansalot in an emergency, um, uh, you do have it in soul to actually proc his Vanguard skill, so... Uh, actually, the Vanguard skill actually is some kind of relevant, but we're really only playing this because it is a recyclable heal that grabs a Retire. So yeah, very good. Uh, we'll go over, I guess we'll do the one up first. Uh, I'm playing Claude, the Wingle Searcher. Uh, Vanguard, Vanguard Circle on play Soul Blast 1, Counter Blast 1 to search your deck for the uh, Wingle Seeker. And add to your hand, and when attacking Vanguard plus 2k, so just a filler one of... Uh, because I'm not playing Thing Saver, uh, I can't just play one thing saver in this lock because one thing, thing saver doesn't do anything. Uh, so I figure Claude is just like the next, is like just the, an okay card to fill in slots with. Uh, it's not terrible. It can set you up for Legion that following turn. Gets an extra card to soul, gets an extra card into your soul by soul blasting one, which is just okay and yeah, just an okay one of. Uh, next off is the Wingle. So yeah, this one, this card only Legion is blast with Seeker. On Legion, you can call a Great Twiller higher Seeker from your deck. And one attack and plus 2k, so very simple. On Legion plus one, on Legion grab an intercept. If you have yield this, you can plus even more. Just nice to heart. Nice card in general. And finally, the newest addition to the deck is the Light Source Seeker Alfred Exceed. Ex Exceed, or whatever you want to call him, whatever, however you say his name. Um, he legions with Blaster Blade or Blaster Blade Seeker, so both your Blaster Blades. Like, again, like I said earlier, um, by legioning with Blaster Blade Seeker, you, it opens up your ability to use Gringle with, behind your Vanguard. By legioning with a blaster blade, it lets you use its vanguard skill on legion. So choices, and then his other skill is uh, if you are in legion, uh, this unit gets plus. I think it was like it gets plus one k per per seeker rearguard you have. So that checks for name. But this second skill, this second part of the skill does it. If you have five or more rearguards, he gets plus one crit. So uh, to get power, they have to be seekers. For the crit, they can be anything. So if, you're, if your board is like this guy, and your rears are, let's just say, a Gringle, a Blaster Blade Seeker, a Blaster Blade, a Leon, and this thing. He gets plus 2k here, but he still gets a crit because you have a full board. And his other skill is uh, CB2. This is just an Axe skill, and it doesn't require Legion, so you can use this whenever. CB2 to call any Seeker rear from your deck to the board, obviously, because it's a superior call. And, it, and then that card gets the skill, this card can be your Tire Break Artifact, so. It gives protection to that card from retire. I really wish it would just resist so it can prevent lock as well, but what can you do? It does prevent retiring skills, so stuff like other black blades don't work on it, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, it is actually really nice that it has the game of protection skill, but uh, this card is here just because I really don't want to play Thing Saver. Thing Saver just, just, so, no, just felt so bad to me that I didn't like it. I think Alfred offers a better playstyle to the deck. It lets you just, uh, it, this deck becomes very stall heavy. Even more stall having the force. Because before you had like really explosive plays of Thing Saver, and now you're just turtling, calling intercepts that can't be retired, calling in a bunch of intercepts in general, you're just flipping with heals. Uh, it, it definitely turned the deck to be a little slower, uh, but I do think that it is still, I think it's actually better just because Thing Saver was just, the cost on the card was way too high. That's why that's the main reason I don't, I don't like it, so yeah. Uh, 
And X Sieve does give you pressure in a different form. It's crit now, which is really nice. Uh, it sucks that you need a full board for this because a singular lock just turns off the crit, which really sucks. But what can you do? So yeah, this is my my take on Seekers. Uh, obviously, if you want to play Thing Savers, you probably cut down on Wingle. You probably put like Wingle is the one of play four Thing Savers, and that's that. But I really don't like it. But uh, playing Thing Saver also means you can't play as many copies of this because you actually need your soul for something. So yeah, yeah. Tell me guys what you think about this this version of the list down below in the deck the down below in the comments. Uh, some games for you guys as per usual. Like and subscribe, all the good stuffs, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.